Okay. Remember what I said? These side frames, we were missing one. All right, so I have this stuff. Remelt. Used a couple times. It's not too bad. For this situation, it's perfect. So what I did, you take it, you heat it up in the microwave. It doesn't take long, like a minute. And then I poured it into this little sandwich box here. And then I floated my two, I floated two side frames on here. And the reason I did two is in case it doesn't turn out. All right, so we're going to peel them out now. If we can, if we can, all right, better figure this out. Okay, let's see if we can get them out of there without wrecking them. Oh, no, no, we don't want that. I don't want to hear any crackling noises. There, that's one. Okay. Let's get this guy out. So when I'm done with this, I'll just heat this up and pour it back into the bin. It'll be fine. Carefully. Carefully -er. mm. Carefully -er. Carefully -er. Careful. And mm. carefully here. Okay, we got him. Okay, all right, they're out. Now I made two of them, as I said, because I might make a mistake. Now here's the thing. Here's how you do it. What I'm using for this is what is known as. We've been doing this since ancient. That's me. Okay, it's called Model Pro. Now, what you do is you take a little digital scale. First, you put your cup on there, and you weigh it, and then you pour in your resin. You know, there's two parts to it, okay? You pour it in. Then whatever you think that that's going to be, this is, I'm using way too much here. There's going to be tons that I don't need. Okay, then you do the same thing. You measure the cup. The cups are not the same weight. Promise you, they are not the same. And you pour this one in and try to make it an equal amount so that you've got the same amount of resin. Now, I calculated that what I got in here is a cup that weighs 0.19 grams, and the total weight is 1.39. This one weighed 1 0.17, and now its total weight is, is 1.38. So it's off by 0 0.01. Close enough. For what we're going to do okay all right so now here's the thing this model pro stuff sets up fast all right so now what we need is a stir stick normally i use a plastic a plastic like picnic knife for this i couldn't find one so today's business we're going to just use a cut off piece of wood here all right so what i'm going to do now is i want to now these get hot when you do this all right this is, this is like 10 times more than I need. We're just going to do it. It's been a while. So let's just do it. I'm going to pour this in, and then I'm going to stir it. And I'm going to pour in the clear one into the other one. Just like that. Let's get them in there. I've only got a very short time to work with this, like less than one minute. Okay, good enough. You should be in there. Let's stir you up. Oh, man, it's all over the place. Crap. That I did not want to have happen. Huh? It's going to start getting hot and stirred up, and it's going to get, it is actually going to get really hot. And I have not had trouble doing this before with the remelt. It has not melted the remelt, but that is a hazard. All right. Now, I'm going to take it. Unfortunately, I have tested pouring these cups. They should not pour down the side. They should just pour evenly. Now, I don't want to pour too much, but I want to get it into... I want to get it where you can see it into the mold. Thing is, this is self-leveling. Ooh, that's way too much. 
that's like way more than we need. So what are we going to do? Well, one, that's basically wasted stuff. And let's just let it pour off to the side here. Actually, let's not do that. Let's not do that at all. Let's uh, shim this. Let's just shim it. Okay, we'll shim it a little bit. And then... Something to scrape it with, which is probably gonna have to be a pan scraper. Okay, you guys keep an eye on that. Starts on fire, say something. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. I'm gonna take this pan scraper. Hopefully, that might work, or it might not work. It totally might fail. Actually, there's a good chance. But that is going to be a complete failure. However, did we get a mold? Did we get a match? That I do not know. And we will not know for a little bit. Holy crap, look at that. Already, it's like getting super hot. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. We better clean up down a little bit. Because uh, this resin getting everywhere. Oh man, and it, uh, this here resin will probably melt our mold and that is not going to be great. And we're not going to, we're not going to like that. All right, we will come back and check it out. In okay, a little now bit. it has been one minute. As you can see, using my scientific methods, I have determined that we did get it in the mold. This here cup is now extremely hot. I'm surprised it hasn't melted the bottom of this. Because it's really hot, and I can't even throw it in the garbage, because, holy crap, that's hot. Dang. Beavis, that's, like, really hot. Now, listen, if you do do this, and yes, he did say do-do, if you do do this, this remelt, you put this in here and it gets hot and it can melt or remelt the remelt and then you will have melted remelt and you don't want that as you can see here this top one is going to be a bit bent however who does not love a bent side frame naturally fortunately i made two of them now we're not going to take this out for a while because my past experience even though it is ready to come out now after we take it out it will probably warp, so I'm going to leave it in here, probably till tomorrow, and then, then we'll take it out. And the other thing about this, when you go to paint these, using that stuff, you can only use acrylic paint. And believe me, I found out the hard way. Acrylic paint only on these, because all of the paint, like anything lacquer or enamel, is not going to stick. And it's going to turn to crap. So you don't want to do that. But I think, I think we got it. I think we made it. We have successfully fabricated placement side frame for the one that's missing. It should be no problem to put a couple posts on and then secure it. So there it is. That's how you do it.